you can't beat the quality Beano and this is the start of MB04 and as it's already a third of the way through May I'm running behind schedule although there were two beasts from the east and there have been longer mini Beanos anyway it's Thursday morning Thursday the 10th of May 2018 time 04.15 hours British summer time it's a bit chilly it's clear there's a slight breeze and um, Hereford it's gonna tick all the boxes although there might not be any Hereford beer house today for various reasons gives me a chance to explore other pubs although I'd rather be in the beer house and Firefly doesn't open until 4 right that's me moaning I need to get on with this I'm back the sun is out it is chilly and apparently the Mayfair started on Monday and ends today you can probably see why the cider house beer and cider house is closed that cider museum for whatever okay so there's the bull however this is the fair tacky plus and behind the hot dogs and burgers is Costa which is open which is good timestamp 0640 hours British summer time oh, I might have a look see what task bears have actually got and this bit of things Early. Just unusual for me. This is for Mr. Manning Tigger RIP last night. Oh, it's a shame. Anyway, nice bit of carpet, nice bit of sun. And it's May, so it's mild May. This is Rock Mild from the Nottingham Brewery. You the brain straining there. 3.8% alcohol by volume, says malty and fruity. Looks a lovely pint. That was orange juice. Okay. Mmm. Rather malty. Yeah, malty and fruity. Fruity in a generic sort of sense. I like that a lot. Net 3.8%. Very sessionable. B plus in a bit. Recording tonight. ITM. Which is strange. No agenda show. 33 is the magic number. Anyway, um, we're starting off with a dark beer day. First there was a mild and now there's a porter. This is Powerhouse Porter. 4.9% alcohol by volume by the Sam Brooks Brewery from London, I think. Who knows? Actually, I think they are from London. Ooh, coffee and roasted notes. Mind you, it is a porter, so you should expect those. Creamy. Malty. Burnt finish. Um, it's okay. It's well made. B plus. Number three, Daracha. Oak matured ruby Scotch ale, weighing in at 5.2% alcohol by volume, from the Inver Almond Brewery in Scotland. Another dark ale. It's dark ale day. Curries on order. I might get up a large, very large bag of chips. Bag of chips? Bowl of chips. Mm. Yeah, getting the oaky. I wouldn't be surprised if they were whiskey barrels. Fruity, malty, a little bit sweet, a little bit oaky. B plus in a bit. Thank you. So plain naan, 
additional chips, skip the proper doms, Scottish beer, mango chutney, oh yeah, barges came in there, and a bit of vinegar, and some charging equipment. This is what you want. Thirteen months ago, and will there be another complete takedown? Sunburst by Dark Star, four point eight percent alcohol by volume. Dark Star for Mary Jo and little Sarachi. Hmm, that's quite malty. B plus. Need more hops. Of course. The barman Scottish, the beer Scottish. This is Melba Scream and it says Peach Melba Ice Cream Ale, 6.7% alcohol by volume, small batch. Real good, Mr. Manning. <laughs> this smells like Peach Melba. Sweet. Peachy, raspberry, be fresh in a bit. Sometimes you need, not actually quite often you need a fruity thing. This is called Tropical Soda from Unbarred Brewery from Hove, as in Brighton and Hove. Passion fruit, pineapple, and mango puree in a New England style beer, 5.8% alcohol by volume. Naturally hazy, I'll say. Smells really fruity. Mm. Tingly on the tongue. Quite light actually. Not overly fruity. And sort of alcohol like slightly better finish. Really refreshing. The finish goes on. Ah, why not? And they like today's B plus plus.